position. I'm going to say that you took him home with me. I know there's mom in Little Ethan. And that's why I have to argue what Alistair says. And maybe I've lost my chance to get Ethan back. Maybe he won't forgive me. But at least I'll have you. Yes? Mama. And you, what, what do you want at this time of night? You. We came to take you home. No, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, oh, my God. God. What are you, you strike your own mother? What kind of daughter no, do I have? I'm fine, Mama, fine. I'm, sorry. Sorry. I'm fine. Let's go home. No, home. I'm, not, I'm not, Mama. But please, did I raise a fool for a daughter? Can't you see how wrong you are? Mama, I'm not going to listen to you guys anymore. Now, please just leave because you're trespassing. We're not thinking straight. This obsession that you have with another woman's the husband. Woman who stole my daughter, Mama? No, I am thinking straight. I'm going to get Jane back and Ethan. That is never going to happen. Do you hear me? Never. You're only hurting yourself and those that you love. Your father and I are here to help you. Can't I don't you see want that? your help, Mama. I've got Alistair to help me, okay? I'm going to use him to get what I want. What, what, what goes on in that head of yours? No one uses Alistair Crane. No one. I mean, my God, he tried to kill Sheridan, his own daughter. The man would kill his own mother if she got in his way. Alistair told me to stay here, and that is exactly what I'm doing. All I've got to do is just stick it out in the snake pit, and then I'll be rewarded. And others will be punished. You know that every moment that you spend in this sick alliance with Alistair pulls you further away from God. What did I tell you? I warned you that if you sold your soul to the devil, something would happen. I mean, listen to yourself. You sound so vindictive, so hard. Teresa, you are hurting the very people that you say you love. Ethan, your children... And all you've done is cause us heartache and confusion. And let me tell you something, Teresa. Whether you like it or not, Gwen is Ethan's wife. And for you to try to break up that marriage, well, that's a sin. Well, was it a sin when Gwen ruined my wedding day? Was it a sin when she sent the information to the tabloid about Ethan's troop attorney from my computer, Mama? Was that a sin? Do unto others. That's what you always taught me. Well, you know what? My children are fine. And with any luck, God will help Ethan see the light and he'll come back to me. And you know, as far as Gwen is concerned, well, she's made my life a living hell. And I just pray that all the heartache that she's caused me is thrown back on her tenfold. This is like a scene out of The Exorcist. I, I hear Alistair Crane's voice coming out of your mouth. Question, can Alistair make Ethan love you? Ethan already loves me. He's only with Gwen because he thinks... It's his duty. Now, with Alistair on my side, I will get everything that I deserve. Go home. I'm tired. It's like she's been brainwashed by Alistair. Yeah, we've got to do something. Yeah. I hear that. Y you can go home now. All right. Fine. But we're taking you with us. What? No! No! Open the door. I'm going to no. take this little brat home. Okay. Now! Put me down. Put me down.